going to introduce you to my brother in Christ, who was born and brought up in a Sikh family, but he came to the Lord when he migrated from Dubai to Canada, but now he's going back to Dubai, but now he met Jesus, so we listen to him, and I welcome you, Brother Huzur, in the name of Jesus. So please uh, tell our audience how you came to the Lord, and what was your purpose to come from Canada even, and how you met Jesus. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to our Heavenly Father uh, and Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Then to uh, thank you, Brother uh, Johnson and Sister Rina also. That uh, actually I didn't knew Jesus and I didn't choose him. Because most of the time we say that we have chose Jesus or we have found him. But it's that uh, he has chosen us. Yeah, that's written in John. It's written in John uh, chapter 15, verse 16. So, uh, let me at, uh, share something that how I met Jesus first. Uh, when I came here, I migrated because I have some trouble in my shop with my, uh, you can say, colleagues and my relatives. Um, because we have a joint family business with my cousin brother. So I was very upset. I said, I'm going out somewhere. So luckily, I got that uh, uh, information from that uh, newspaper about uh, lawyer. And we applied visa. And it, within a few months, we got our visa. <laughs> so I didn't know that it's all planned no, from the court. So when I came here in 2000, in August 2000, so we came here for one year, we started our business, for one year our business was gone very bad. Mm -hmm. But after one year we are just losing the money. Okay. And we were very upset. And we, literally I was in depression and I started drinking every day. Okay. Whole night I used to drink and I used to watch the TV because the whole night. And I used to have a fear in, my, in me that next day morning, maybe the uh, call collection, they will call, uh, they will call and they will, uh, they, will call um, they will call for the money. Mm -hmm. So I, all that, I was upset at that time. And then in 2002 May, my wife came to me and she said, she had a dream that we have to go to the church. And we knew only about the Catholic people, not about uh, Baptist or uh, Pentecostal. We didn't know about these things. But we only knew that there were Catholic people and their names like uh, D'Souza, John. So, <coughs> so I said, OK, we believe in Jesus because as, uh, we believe in our gurus. So we believe in Jesus also like a guru. So I said, OK, one day we will go. But next month in uh, June, my brother came from Dubai. So he said, we have to go to Montreal. He, he wants to make, uh, meet with his client. So when we went there, one of our family friends, they took us there. And his friend, he said, there is a church in uh, Montreal. Mm -hmm. So it's a very beautiful church. Let's go there. We went there, and I told my wife, see, you had a dream, so we came here. But I didn't know that Jesus is a church. Mm -hmm. So six months passed, but still we were in depression. A lot of troubles were there. And as we started having a fighting also in home. Mm -hmm. So in 2002, uh, December, because we always uh, change the channel when there is a Christian Program. Okay. So suddenly in Channel 9, there was a program, uh, Hour of Healing, mm -hmm. and he was saying that those who are having a joint pain, they lay one hand on uh, on TV and one hand keep wherever you have a pain is. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I was having a pain in my joint and in the jaws. So I said, let's try it. I did what he said, and next morning, the pain was gone. 
for that. There was no pain. So then I called them and I said, can you pray for us for financially prayer? So they, say, they asked me a question, do you believe Jesus as your personal savior? So we didn't know about that, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So then <clears throat> they prayed for us because I said, we, don't uh, we just believe in Jesus. We don't, uh, I don't know what that, that means, but we believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So they, he prayed for us. We prayed and nothing happened. No changes, nothing. One month passed, we, we call, called him again. He prayed, nothing happened, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. January passed, February passed. In March, we called 100 Huntleys. 100 people. Yes. Okay. We called them, they prayed, and they sent a New Testament and the book, uh, Purpose of Driven Life. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> At that time, what happened when I received the book and the New Testament, we didn't, I didn't know that it is a New Testament, it is a Bible. But I heard a little small voice from inside that don't read, this will change your religion. <laughs> so I just uh, hold that book and the Bible uh, like this, mm -hmm. and I kept it in the shelf. I didn't open it even. And after that, I forgot about it. But Nothing was changing. So it was April, mid, I think Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Midnight, I just said, Jesus is for the white people only. He is not for us. Mm -hmm. So why I am wasting my time? <laughs> but whole night I was drinking and I was uh, changing the channels. And suddenly I saw a program ATN on ATN Jeevan Sandesh. Mm -hmm. And Brother Johnson, you were sitting there and there was a sister, Sister Harbans. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and she was waving the Bible like this. And she was sharing her testimony <coughs> how she got healed from that uh, cancer. Mm -hmm. And her name is same. Nothing has changed. Only God has changed from. Uh, uh, her heart and from inside. <coughs> so she is a, a daughter of a Garanti, had Garanti in Punjab. <coughs> so I was a little bit upset. I said, how it can be? Mm -hmm. Because, <coughs> and I was surprised also, that how can a person, his name will be same and they are a follower of Jesus Christ. So next morning, I called you, brother, and I said, can I have a Bible in Punjabi? I forgot that I have a New Testament. Yeah. And brother said, uh, I don't have it right now, but uh, can you call me next week? And why don't you come to the church? Then again, I heard a voice that if you will go to the church, they will change your religion. <laughs> So I said, no, I need a Bible only. <coughs> then brother said, I, uh, I will get it from uh, next week and I will let you know. So <coughs> next week again I called, brother said, I don't have. Then he said, why don't you come to the church? So I <coughs> said, okay, I will come, so give me the address. When I gave him the address, it was uh, only five minutes drive from my shop. So on Sunday, I told my wife, I'm going to the church just for two minutes. And I will be back because I know that there's nothing for me there. Mm -hmm. So I went there and usually what happened that I used to, I keep my bio, uh, mobile here, but at that day, I forgot it in this cob. And I went and I sat back behind on the church, in the church. Mm -hmm. And brother, you were sharing a testimony about some Pathan, I think, he, how he got divorced, and then he prayed, and uh, how his wife came back. <coughs> and I was thinking that you're sharing my testimony. It was totally different, but I was thinking that how you know about me and you're sharing about me. About the problem. Yeah. So 
I didn't know that how the two hours passed. It was five o'clock when you called for that uh, prayer. So those who need a prayer, they can come forward. Mm -hmm. So I went and you prayed for me. And at that time, I felt a little bit peace inside me. But most, uh, mo what I've seen is love in that church. Mm -hmm. Because I never seen that kind of love in any place that when I came, everybody was hugging me and they are asking my number and my name and they are saying that we will pray for you, we will keep you in our prayer. Mm -hmm. So I said, what kind of these people are? They don't know me and they are saying that they, want, they will pray for me. So I felt a little bit light from inside. When I went to the, my, uh, I went and checked my mobile, it was 30 missed calls inside that mobile <laughs> from the shop. Okay. So I went to the shop and at that day you announced that there is a pastor is going to come on 18th May, uh, Pastor Jairaman. So I made promise that I will bring my family also on that day. <clears throat> Next week again I came. But in between, what happens after two days, when I came first time in the church, I, w I had a peace in my heart. But after two days, I got, again the troubles came. And then I called, Sister Veena picked up the phone. And she's, she prayed for me, and she said, you have to say only that, thank you, Jesus, for deliverance. So I started saying that, and I felt a peace again in, in my heart. So next week again I came, and on 18th of May, what happened that I forgot that we are going to come to the church, and we booked about for, for the cruise. A cruiser. A cruiser. It's a, 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 what do you say that? Sur Sagar program, TV channel. So they arranged that uh, program. So yeah, we booked a ticket for $150. I said, for a long time, I haven't took my children any place, so let's take them. <coughs> so on 18th of May, 2 o'clock, I remembered that we have to go to the church. So we, I, uh, that day, I brought my children also, my family, and we were in the church around 4.45. My elder daughter, she said, Papa, it's time. Can we go? I said, we have lost millions, so maybe we are going to loss, lose this $150, $150 also. So, but we will not go unless we won't get anything from here. We are not going back home empty-handed. So, 5 o'clock, the pastor prayed for us. <coughs> and... Uh, after that, I didn't know what he prayed for me, but what he prayed for my wife, I know exactly that she needed it. Mm -hmm. So around 5.30, 5.15 or 5.30, we were in basement when I received a call from my friend that the cruise is late till 8 o'clock. Can you come? Mm -hmm. I said, praise the Lord <laughs> that the Lord didn't want me to lose that $150 also. Mm -hmm. So we went there. So now this next miracle, what happened was that I used to drink <coughs> whole night, every day. Mm -hmm. And when they offered me a drink, I said, no, I don't want to drink. And they offered me a beer also. I said, I don't want to drink any hard anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I don't like it. <coughs> so. Midnight, around 12 o'clock, we went to home, and I was, I was having a three bottles. I emptied it in the sink and uh, threw the bottle outside. I said, no more drinking from this day. Mm -hmm. And that's how my life I got changed. Yes. And now the question you asked me, that how I knew mm -hmm. that in 1994 I met Jesus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> After uh, one year, I think, we were having a prayer meeting in Sister, uh, Sister Harvan's home. There was a lady, she was praying for us, and she said <clears throat> that Jesus came personally and helped you, and she gave us the, uh, the timing. Mm -hmm. And me and my wife, we just calculated it. It was exactly the same time 
It was in 1994, April, when I was in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I didn't know Jesus. I didn't read about him. I only knew him as a, a guru of Christian. Mm -hmm. But how he came, how he heard my prayers, and how he came and uh, helped me. So, <clears throat> but when I got saved in May 18, 2003, what happened when you uh, you, are, you receive healing from one doctor, you will start telling to others. Mm -hmm. When you see that some person is sick or they are having a trouble, you will start telling them that I have met one this doctor, you go to this hospital and uh, try this doctor, he, you will get your uh, healing. So same way, when we received our peace and healing, and our life was started changing. So I started telling to my customers. Mm -hmm. So this is the number from this church. So you call them, they will pray for you, and you will get healed. Mm -hmm. And they was they started telling me, have, have you changed your religion? <laughs> so you became Christian? So then I started asking this question from God. I said, Lord, what is the religion? How a person can change a religion? Because if I have made something, I can change it. But, but if God has made it, no, nobody has power to change that. Mm -hmm. So I want to know about it. <clears throat> so after six months, I heard a voice says, go and open the Bible and read John chapter 15, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Can you read brother that, that verse? You did not choose me. I have chose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit, the kind of fruit that endures, and, and so that Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. So this is how sometimes we think that we have started following Jesus or we have chosen he has him. Chosen us. But it's not that you have chosen, because a son, when holds the father's hand, he is a weak vessel, so he can lose uh, his hand any time. But when a father holds the hand of his son, so he can, he is a stronger one, mm -hmm. so he will never leave you or forsake you. So when Jesus chose you, then you cannot turn back. Amen. So when you started following him, you can turn back anyway, anytime, because it's your choice. Mm -hmm. But when it's his choice, you, you cannot do anything. So since from that day, then I started, I didn't look back, and I give myself totally, 100%. I surrendered myself. Mm -hmm. Then I asked from God, Lord, I want to know that how I can share this to my people that <clears throat> I haven't changed my religion, mm -hmm. but God has ch changed my heart. He changed me from inside, which I cannot do myself. Mm -hmm. Because from outside, you can change yourself anytime. Yeah. You will see that they have changed your outwards. They have changed their clothes, the wearing, the styles. They can change by themselves. Mm -hmm. But from inside, only God can change you. You cannot change yourself. You can say, Oh, I am not going to get angry anymore. You say a hundred times, but still you will get angry. Mm -hmm. But the God will take out that angerness. If you will try also, you will not get angry. Mm -hmm. Because God has changed you from he inside. Changed. He will give you the new heart. He will yes, he will new take heart. your stone heart yes. and he will give you new the heart. flesh, yes. the new heart. Mm -hmm. And he will fill you with the spirit. <coughs> so that's how after that, we received that authority also, that we can lay hands on the sick people and they will, they will heal, they will get healed also. So we prayed for others. We started sharing from, uh, for other people. Uh, uh, we shared the testimony, how God touched us, because we didn't share our, about ourselves. We didn't share about, we didn't glorify ourselves. 
We are here to glorify our Heavenly Father. Now, uh, I'm interrupting you, and this is something you know. Most new people, I mean, new relatives, think about it. When they see, I see even change from outside, but God changes from inside. That is the But what they say, we have become Christian, or is that religion? Uh, I think this is a relationship you have with the Lord who created you. So, what they uh, say about that? Yeah, the first time, uh, when I went to India also, I started, uh, I, I, I really planned to go to India in 2004 mm -hmm. and uh, we applied for that uh, visa also my, because my family's passport was Afghani passport and right. my passport was India. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we applied for the visa, it took for one month and after one month they said that we have to show our tickets and at that time when we went for to buy a ticket they said you will get uh, the seat for uh, 15th of August. So I said, now if we will go for 15 days and we are going to spend $10,000, mm -hmm. so it's no use. So <clears throat> then I started praying. I prayed for two days, praying and fasting, and I heard a voice. God said to me that, did you ask me? I said, no. He said, it's not my permission that you have, you, to, you have to go. When I will send you, you will lack nothing. Mm -hmm. So I will provide everything for Amen. you. Yes. So then <clears throat> I told my wife that this is what I heard. She said, okay, go and bring the passports back. <laughs> so I went and I brought the passport and I said, we don't need a visa right now. So next year we got one month extra holidays for the children. We went for three months. And uh, we went and uh, we distributed the Bibles also in our families and relatives. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of questions. They said, why you have changed your religion? Why you started following that uh, Christianity? Mm -hmm. Because our scriptures, there's everything. The Holy Granth is complete. Mm -hmm. So you should understand, the, you should read the Holy Granth. You should understand it. And you have to follow our Sikhism way. I said, see, I'm not talking about a, a religion, I'm talking about a relationship. Amen. Yeah. So you can read thousands of uh, scriptures, you can read all the books, mm -hmm. but if you don't have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. how you can go to Him and ask every time and you will get? Mm -hmm. Because a servant, when he goes and asks, the God will say, okay, wait, this is not time, proper time for you. Because when we, when you have, you are having a servant, he comes to you, to you and asks for something, and you will say, "Recently I have given you, so why you are asking again and again?" But when a son goes to father, yes, the father says, "You are my, you are uh, my, you are having you all my inheritance, yes, that's so right. you can get anything from me." Mm -hmm. So he gives you. So this is how the relationship I am talking about. So later on they came to know. When we prayed for them, they received their healing also. And they saw the changing in my life. Mm -hmm. They saw the, when sometimes they shared the uh, scriptures with me and they uh, translated, then Holy Spirit guided me and said, no, this is not a right way. So this is wrong. So the, he taught me, the Holy Spirit taught me how I can sh uh, translate that uh, scripture. Then they realized that uh, yes, there is a true God. So then they came, started com came, uh, coming to me and they asked, please pray for us. Yes. Right. So yeah. <clears throat> I know there are many questions these people they ask, mm -hmm. but the only thing we cannot satisfy you, I know that only the God can satisfy you. But dear brothers, do you say, come unto me, as you are, have you laid in and burden? I will, I will give you rest. No other guru, <coughs> or nobody it said this. Right? Just, and they even said, don't worship us. Is that, is that true? Yes, this is true. In scriptures also it's written that only the Shabbat is the way to the Lord. Mm -hmm. There is no other, you can, I'm not going to, uh, what you say, uh, say anything about the religion. No, we don't have to talk because about Because we are talking about the relationship. Mm -hmm. But most of the people, even I used to, I also used to think about 
that uh, all the religions leads to it leads you to god mm -hmm. but i know that all religion will leads you to the scriptures to mm -hmm. the word of the god and only the word of the god can lead you to god mm -hmm. only one way there is no other way so if you want the salvation this you can receive your salvation by grace and through the word of the god and through jesus mm -hmm. whatever jesus said in the bible it is true i am not talking because i have read the bible i am not talking because pastor told me or somebody else told me i am saying it because i have my personal experience yes, yes. i am talking with my experience if i have used one product and i know that this product is wonderful it's great it's working great then i will say brother this product works wonderful so you can use it too mm -hmm. so we don't talk unless we uh, we didn't had any experience so my, i am also telling to you don't go after my words if you have any questions or any doubts instead of doubts you should have a question is better so go to the room stay, uh, it's not one time every time go any day you can go and sit alone and ask god god i want to know you mm -hmm. who you are because i also started praying like this when i was having a trouble financial problem here i started going every day to gurdwara and i started praying only one prayer then because first i prayed that i didn't cheat anyone why this is happening with me <laughs> then my prayer start changing i said lord i want to know you mm -hmm. who you are with whom i am talking so i started praying like this and when you will hear the knock don't uh don't just stop or lie on just open the door mm -hmm. when you hear the knock from your heart just say lord here i am speak to me ask for the holy spirit and yes. god will give you the, the god and promise. god himself will speak to you he will lead you through maybe through tv programs maybe a person who will come to you mm -hmm. and you will not you don't know him but he will answer your questions or maybe you are reading something some from bible scriptures you will receive your answer so just get ready that's what i am saying to you and i have uh, yeah. when i asked oh. a question <laughs> yeah. Yeah. about the religion the god spoke to me and he said you go and write the book i will give you the words he didn't spoke with me through audio voice <clears throat> because i i was asking from god i i want to write the book i didn't know how to write it and i don't know what to write you never wrote any write any book i didn't write any book before and one day there was a pastor from uh, uh new zealand from auckland mm -hmm. he came and he uh, in one prayer meeting and he said i want you brother to come forward and uh, translate whatever i am saying so in punjabi <coughs> i I, st i went there and he said brother god wants me uh, god is giving me a prophecy about you and he wa uh, he wants me to tell you something so is is it okay for you i said okay he said you are asking god that you want to write a book mm -hmm. and he said go ahead write book and god says i will give you the scriptures and he gave me the scriptures <coughs> from the holy bible and from the holy grant and i have written it here in punjabi it says taram di pachhan taram kachcha ja sachcha and in english what is religion religion true or false it is the from the scriptures if you want the book because i am leaving to dubai now but uh, <laughs> my brother is here so <clears throat> you can ask him so he will give it to you guru guru thank you so much so it's all god's plan and we this know is god's plan in a that through this tight schedule you given yeah, thank you through this program thank god you. is going to touch many people